Welcome back guys, in this video I'll show you how you can use the data retrieval tool of OpenAI Assistant and what's the difference between the knowledge base files and thread level files which are uploaded by user and so on. So previously we built this simple program where you can interact with your assistant API. It takes the username, the assistant ID and the user input. That's it. So just make sure whatever username you keep over here, it is available in users.json file. On top right corner, you can see the card. Just click there if you want to see the previous video. Anyway, I have this file called d.py info. Actually, it have information about my YouTube channel. It says d.py is a YouTube channel for AI content. This channel has around 850 subscribers. So basically, after uploading this file as a knowledge base, this assistant should know about what is d.py and who owns the channel called d.py and all this information. So let's test it out and then we'll move to thread level files. First, let's create an assistant. I will use the UI to create the assistant because it's more convenient. I'll call it data scout. Okay, so this is the simple prompt I gave and I'll select GPT-4 Turbo because this retrieval tool is only available when you are using GPT-4 Turbo or else you cannot enable it. As you can see, I'm selecting GPT-4. It's disabled. I cannot enable it. So I have enabled it and I will upload the file. The file is uploaded. Now let's click save and our assistant is ready. Here it is, as you can see, this is my assistant ID. I'll just copy this and paste it over here. It means now we will be using this assistant, which we just made. So let's ask the question, hey there, how you doing? Let's ask a basic one just to make sure it's working. I'm just a visual assistant, so I don't have feelings. I'm here to help her. Okay, so basically it's working and responding to my queries. By the way, OpenAI client has been updated. So if you want to run this code in your system, make sure to upgrade your OpenAI client. You can do that by typing pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade OpenAI. I have it updated already, so I don't need to do it again. If I say OpenAI version, so I'm using version 1.2.2. Anyway, let's ask another question and say, what do you know about Sohail? So basically, it does not know who is Sohail, but since I have uploaded my file, so it should retrieve the information from there. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm getting this error that says, cannot encode characters. Okay, so actually there are some special characters with the assistant output, which is not supported in this terminal. So what I can do is, I'll just with open output.txt write encoding utf8 file.write okay so instead of printing this I will just write it to an output.txt file and we will see results from there because because of the special characters we are getting this error Okay, it works successfully. Let's check the output. The output says, So Hell is the owner and content creator of a YouTube channel named D.py, which emphasizes AI topics. So as you can see, it successfully actually retrieved the data from my file, which I uploaded. This was an example of assistant level file, which means the assistant can retrieve and help out any user anytime using this file. So now let's get to the thread level files. By thread level files, I mean those files which are uploaded by the users. Let me show you practically. Here I'll say user input file equals. So this is an example variable. Okay, I have brought this algorithm.pdf file, which I'll upload to assistant uh, just to see if it can help me. Okay, so I'll say algorithm.pdf. This is my input file URL because it's in the home directory. Let's get to OpenAI documentation. Okay, so as you can see, this is the piece of code. We need to upload a file. Let's say if user input file, then we will use this piece of code. So instead of saying knowledge.ptf, I will say user input file. 
and it will upload it directly to my OpenAI. Here the purpose has to be assisted. Once this file is uploaded, then in my messages, I'll also have to reference this file. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here as you can see on line number 47, this is the message which I am appending to a thread. Let's say if user input file, which means if a user has given us file as an input, then what we'll do is we will run this piece of code or else we will run this piece of code we will pass the file here as a reference to pass a file it's in their documentation as you can see here i have to write file.ids so this file.id can be taken from over here actually let me say user uploaded file Okay, so now let's try to run this piece of code and see what are the response. So here I'll say, given the PDF file, can you summarize it within two sentences? And this is my PDF file. It has some sort of algorithm, which I'm not going to expose anyway. So let's run this piece of code. Oh, sorry. So actually I don't have to change this one. It is supposed to be file. Okay, so let's run this piece of code once again. Okay, so it's saying I am unable to directly access the content of the PDF. Okay, actually I have made a small mistake. That's why it's responding this way. Instead of having this line over here, I have to make sure it's within this create function. Now let's try to give input. Please summarize the file with the two sentences. Let's see if it's able to work. Let me enable this which means we are giving a file as an input. Let's run this piece of code and now it should work. Okay, so it's still not able to read the file which I'm uploading because of one more thing. As you can see, the assistant need access to some sort of tool that can read the file. So we can enable the code interpreter which we disabled initially in our assistant. Go to assistant and click this code interpreter, click save button. Let's try it now. Okay, so it is still not able to help me out. Okay, I have changed the file name. Let's try it out and say space.pdf. You can use the code interpreter. Ah, as you can see, when I said, please summarize the file in two sentences. Okay, it's saying, the file space.ptf has been uploaded, but like the previous file, it's not accessible with the browsing tool. So I have been getting this error. And when I said, you can use code interpreter, why don't you use that? So now it's been like the file space.ptf outlines a 2D planogram. And this is correct because this file contains an algorithm about 2D planogram for organizing items in freezers. That's right. So finally, it was able to understand my file and help me out. So what you learn eventually is that you have to be specific with your initial instruction. You have to guide the model. Hey, if you get stuck in such scenarios, this is how you can take a lead and all those. The AI itself is not that intelligent as it looked during the dev day conference. Okay, so now let's verify one last thing, which is let's say the username. Let me move this piece of code down there. Let me change my name to John. Okay. I just want to verify if this assistant is going to expose a file from one thread to another thread or not. Since this user John does not have any thread, so a new thread will be assigned to him. And I'm going to say, you can use code interpreter, but not use this. Summarize me the file called space.ptf. So in our previous conversation, it already knows what is space.ptf and all this. Let's see how it responds. Okay, it's saying the file seems to be broken or corrupted as I cannot open it using my MUPDF library. So let me ask again, do you even have a file? Why are you lying? Okay, it's saying the file does exist. Uh, I have access to. So basically the file might exist there but this thread, it does not have the access to 
or read that file or write anything to that file because thread level file is specific for that thread to which it was initialized or to which it was uploaded so let's get back to the user called sohail and now i should be able to access it let me check it hi do you have file called space.pdf can you tell me what it have i use this username called sohail when i uploaded the space.pdf file so now i say it should be able to answer correctly and also refresh that file let's see yes i have access to the file name's pdf which you uploaded recently as you can see it knows i have uploaded it recently so we have verified that thread level files are separated from each other and are not mixed up so it means what open ai was telling us it was right <laughs> okay so Anyway guys, I hope this session was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if it helps you, make sure you are hitting the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching guys.